dear students, I shall continue the problems on uh, finding the nth order derivative uh, from the logarithmic function onwards. The next problem which I am going to discuss is like this, y is equal to log of to the base 10 into 1 minus 2x whole cube into 8x plus 1 whole to the power of 5. <coughs> In the previous uh, discussion, this was the uh, base 10 I was discussing and natural logarithms that means to the base e. To the base e directly you can take the differentiation, but to the base 10 you have to convert in terms of uh, natural logarithms and then do the differentiation. <coughs> this is equal to log e to the base 10 into log of the same quantity to the base e. <coughs> this is from the logarithms formula. Then you need to write, <coughs> sorry, uh, this is log e to the base 10 will be continued as a coefficient. Then inside the bracket, this is log of product it is, that means log of uh, 1 minus 2x whole cube, okay, log of 1 minus 2x whole cube into 8x plus 1 whole to the power of 5 is that. Apply that formula log m into n, log of e to the base 10 multiplied to 3 times log 1 minus 2x and then it is plus of 5 times log of that is 8x plus 1. I hope you understood what is that formula of logarithm we, we have used because log of m whole to the power n is equal to n times of log of m that is log m whole to the power n means n times of log of m is there. Now there are two separate terms, the formula which you have studied for nth order derivative of the logarithm function that is ax plus b. Then log of it is e to the base 10 multiplied to 3 times, here in this case a is equal to minus 2 and b is equal to 1. In this case, a is equal to 8 and b is equal to 1. Minus 1 to the power n minus 1 and n minus 1 factorial, then a to the power that is n means a is minus 2, minus 2 to the power n whole divided by that is along with this 3 whole divided by 1 minus 2x whole to the power it is n only. That means whatever it is there a value uh, here we are written in the numerator plus 5 times that is log of 8x minus 1 to the power n minus 1, n minus 1 factorial and 8 to the power n divided by ax plus b whole to the power n that means 8x plus 1 whole to the power n. So, this is the solution whereas log of e to the base 10 is constant that has to be multiplied as it is. Next problem, I shall continue on the trigonometric function already we have discussed. Now, uh, one more uh, uh, case I am going to take uh, for the trigonometric function. The problems, various problems are uh, product of uh, different functions of trigonometric functions you will find, especially you give importance to sine and cos, not other trigonometric functions in this case. Let me write another problem here <coughs> in terms of uh, that is uh, sine square, uh, that means second degree of that function, y is equal to, it is sine square x and then cos of 3x. How this problem goes for finding the nth order derivative? That means we have studied for the trigonometric function with the first degree, but here it is a product and as well as sin uh, function takes the degree 2. Therefore, we have, we have to use cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 
to it is sin square a. Here we have second function that, that means cos 2a function can be expressed in three different forms. One among the form is already one case we have used in our previous uh, one of the previous problems and now I am using cos in terms of sin. But in the previous case already we have used uh, cos in terms of cos only. Therefore, sin square a this takes on simplification 1 minus it is cos 2a and divided by 2. So, this formula I will be replacing in place of sin square x that means a equal to x that is 1 minus cos of it is 2x and divided by it is 2 multiplied by it is cos of 3x. Now, I will separate this for y it is 1 by 2 multiplied to this cos 3x cos 3x divided by 2 one term separately and minus uh, cos 2x and cos of 3x and whole divided by 2. Now, this is in the ready form where you can apply nth order derivative for this using cos of ax plus b formula. But here it is a product once again product formula cannot be taken directly you have to split that. How you are going to take that once again apply that uh, uh, product of cos a and b that is equal to 1 by 2 times cos summation plus cos difference that is cos of 3x divided by 2 minus of 1 by 4 this 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 according to the formula that is cos of summation summation means that is cos 5x and plus of it is cos of minus it is cos of minus x then this is for y is there then what we have to take uh, yeah, nth order derivative y n is equal to d n divided by it is d x n of 1 by 2 into that is cos of 3 x and that is one term and plus of plus of 1 by 4 plus of 1 by 4 that is cos 5 x d n divided by d x n it is cos of 5 x this is second term and plus of plus of 1 by 4 d n that means nth order derivative symbol and multiply to sorry uh, operating on cos of minus x cos of minus x is plus cos x. So, these are the three steps which you have to write as a final answer that is 1 by 2 and cos 3 x gives 3 to the power n cos of it is 3 x plus n pi by 2 this is according to the formula already in one of the previous problems we have discussed about this and plus of 1 by 4 this should be 5 to the power n and here 3 to the power n because cos of a x plus b a is 3 and here a is 5 and here a is 1 therefore 1 by 4 5 to the power n and cos of it is 5 x plus n pi by 2 plus of plus of 1 by 4 it is 1 to the power n 1 to the power n into cos of x plus it is n pi by 2. This is the final step of for this problem that is product of second degree term of sin and first degree term of cos function. That means higher degree more than first degree should be reduced to the first degree and then apply the formula. This is one among such cases. Now, we shall go for another problem that is uh, exponential uh, product of exponential and uh, trigonometric function. Next problem is like this y is equal to that is e to the power minus x and it is sin square x. We know the formula for product of exponential 
product of exponential and trigonometric function we have we have e to the power ax cos bx plus c and e to the power ax sin of it is bx plus c uh, we can find nth order derivative we can find yn for these functions now this looks when you compare with these things we, uh, now we do not know whether uh, it will be converted to either sin or cos then if it is to be converted to uh, cos then you have to use cos 2a formula as you have taken here in terms of 1 minus 2 sin square a because it is second degree and e to the power ax means a equal to minus 1 when it is sin square is there then the formula is not permitted formula will not allow uh, immediately to write the next uh, uh, step as an answer uh, whenever we have more than first degree it is to be reduced to the first degree and then you write okay so this uh, uh, term can be taken as uh, sin square e to the power minus x let e to the power minus uh, x into sin square x is equal to e to the power minus x into sin square you can write it as 1 minus this term uh, converted step like this 1 minus it is cos 2x over 2 ok then y is equal to <coughs> e to the power minus x divided by 2 and e to minus of e to the power minus x it is cos of 2x it is divided by 2 there are two terms which we have to deal with to find the value of yn then yn is equal to what is the formula for this e to the power ax into cos bx plus c for this formula we have to write formula in uh, uh, one of the previous uh, discussions we have proved that a square plus b square whole to the power n by 2 into e to the power ax cos of bx plus c plus n times tan inverse of b by a. So, that formula I am going to apply. But for this minus 1 to the power n because e to the word, uh, two formulas we are going to use. Okay, e to the power minus x divided by 2 and another one uh, that is minus of 1 by 2 a square that is <coughs> 1 a is minus 1 minus 1 square plus 2 square whole to the power n by 2 and e to the power minus x and cos of it is 2x cos of 2x plus of n into tan inverse it is b by a b is 2 and a is 1 tan inverse of 2 divided by minus 1. So, this is the answer. Here you have to note that two formulas we have used. One formula exponential term directly that formula goes like this e to the power mx and yn is equal to m to the power n e to the power mx but in this case m equal to minus 1 therefore minus 1 to the power n in place of m to the power n this is the term we have used and one more is that is a square plus b square for this product that is e to the power ax cos bx plus c for this problem yn is equal to yn is equal to a square plus b square whole to the power n by 2 into e to the power ax and cos of bx plus c plus uh, n times tan inverse that is n times tan inverse it is b by a this is the formula already we have derived these formulas uh, in one of the previous discussions. So, two formulas we are using for two independent terms. So, this is about uh, product of exponential and trigonometric function. Let me take one more example on this, then I shall conclude uh, the discussion on 
that is product of exponential and trigonometric function. Y is equal to sin 2x into sin hyperbolic sin 2x into sin hyperbolic 2x. This is another uh, case uh, similar type of examples you can deal with, but uh, maybe here cos function you will be getting and uh, sin hyperbolic, maybe here sin function you will be getting and sin hyperbolic or cos hyperbolic and combination of sin and cos, whether sin appears first or cos appears second or uh, otherwise cos appears first and sin appears second or cos and cos both or sin and sin both. So, any case you can deal with. So, from the hyperbolic functions what we have because this is hyperbolic function for that type of product we do not have the ready formula to take up uh, the nth order uh, derivative then we need to convert like this let y is equal to sin 2x and what is sin hyperbolic 2x e to the power 2x minus e to the power minus 2x divided by 2. This is from complex numbers we uh, take this result where sin hyperbolic is e to the power x minus e to the power minus x divided by 2 and for cos hyperbolic x is equal to e to the power x and plus e to the power minus x divided by 2. These are the two formulas we studied in uh, complex numbers. Similarly, for other trigonometric functions tan, cot, secant and cosecant same type sin divided by cos and cos divided by sin and 1 by cos and 1 by sin like that you can go on proving the results. Then y is equal to sin 2x and e to the power 2x minus e to the power minus 2x divided by 2. I can split this product into two different functions one divided by e to the power 2x into it is sin 2x minus 1 by 2 e to the power minus 2x into sin of 2x that is y is there. So, for this product you will be getting like e to the power ax into cos bx plus c or e to the power ax into sin bx plus c. Now, according to our formula, but in the previous problem you had this case that is e to the power ax into cos bx plus c. So, now I am going to write the formula for because a sin is multiplied to exponential another formula similar type then what is that formula here it is first degree sin to the power first degree sin to the power first degree then 1 by 2 that is a square here a equal to 2 b equal to 2 and c is equal to 0 these are the three numbers which you can collect from the product uh, function that is product of exponential and trigonometric function that is a square that means 2 square 2 square plus 2 square whole to the power n by 2 and e to the power 2x as it is and sin of it is uh, 2x and b uh, c is 0 2x plus n times tan inverse it is 2 divided by 2 that close the bracket and plus of uh, that is uh, minus here minus sign is there and minus 1 by 2 e to the power uh, that, uh, that is a square that means minus 2 whole square and plus 2 whole square and whole to the power n by 2 and my e to the power minus 2x as it is and sign of it is 2x ok sin 2x is multiplied common for both it is sin of 2x plus n times it is tan inverse it is b by a that means 2 divided by minus 2. Only thing what you are going to get is here uh, tan inverse of 2 by 2 means tan inverse it is 1 
here you are getting what is tan inverse 1? Tan inverse 1 means uh, this value tan inverse 1 is equal to 45 degrees that means pi by 4. Here minus 1 you are getting that is minus of 45 degrees. Therefore, that much you can write the next part of the simplification. Similarly, one more example I will do this on the product type because you have to make uh, more perfection over the uh, product type uh, formulas and one more uh, last case which I am going to take it that will be y is equal to e to the power minus x into sin x into cos 2x. This is a special case I am taking because this is the case of 3 terms whereas in the previous one 2 terms were there but here it is the case of 3 terms product. Therefore, you have to reduce to the 2 terms project because exponential term is uh, occurred then you have to multiply to this function as well as to this function. Let us see how this product behaves e to the power minus x into 1 by 2 this is sin a into cos b sin a into cos b what is the formula that is sin 1 by 2 sin summation plus sin difference therefore you can write it sin x plus 2x 3x and plus of sin that is uh, uh, you can write it as sin a cos b right then it is minus x sin of minus x thereby 1 by 2 e to the power minus x this is sin of it is 3x this is one product and another product is generated from this uh, that is also 1 by 2 but whereas sin of minus theta this becomes that comes to the fourth quadrant according to ASTC rule all students take coffee from that uh, this sin function defines for minus theta this comes in the two dimensional Cartesian system this is theta equal to 0, this is plus theta and this is minus theta. According to all students take coffee, then it comes to the fourth quadrant, fourth quadrant here where sin is negative. Therefore, minus sign we must write. That is minus of uh, uh, 1 by 2, it is e to the power minus x and sin x. So, these are the two products uh, we are having. Now you need to write the nth derivative for this particular step. This is equal to it is 1 by 2 and e to the power ax. Here a is minus 1, b is 3 and c equal to 0. Here a equal to minus 1, b equal to 1 and c equal to 0. Therefore, 1 by 2 times 1 by 2 times it is a square that means minus 1 whole square plus 3 square whole to the power n by 2 and e to the power minus x and sin of it is 3x plus n times uh, 3x plus n times it is tan inverse that is b by a that should be b divided by b means it is 3 by minus 1. This is one term minus of here the second product uh, uh, nth derivative you have to write. Okay. So, what is that? That is also minus 1 whole square and plus 1 whole square whole to the power n by 2 into e to the power minus x into sin of x plus of n times tan inverse 1 divided by 1 divided by minus 1 that is sin inverse of uh, sorry tan inverse of minus 1. You can understand these uh, details uh, by recalling these formulas and then how this product uh, is to be uh, uh, taken further because why uh, these formulas cannot be applied directly to this one means because we are not defined for the nth derivative of product more than two terms. This is one term and this is second term. This is one term and this is second term respectively for cos and sin uh, those uh, two different trigonometric functions. Then here there are two terms here we have to reduce using cos uh, sin a and uh, cos b formula 
and that is reduced to the individual separately two terms. Then exponential term is multiplied. Afterwards, after writing these two exponential terms, then we are able to write uh, the application of product rule that is yn formula for the product of exponential and the sine trigonometric function. Here sine is there, both sine functions are there. So, from this what you have learned, from this what you have learned because I am going to the next discussion, very important discussion is Leibniz theorem. That is uh, for to find the nth derivative of product of some polynomial and uh, trigonometric function because so far we have not come across the product of uh, polynomial term and uh, trigonometric functions. After the after completing this, uh, how you must be able to then what you learnt and how you are uh, going to uh, discuss the problems of various varieties, right? So, uh, for example, here more than two terms if they occur, then choose any two terms to apply the trigonometric formula and then split and then take exponential term inside. I hope you can extend your idea for that and uh, first of all uh, these uh, problems uh, you write and uh, try to understand and then write on your own and similar uh, type of problems you take up and then see that how this concept can be extended. So, after understanding this uh, topic, now we are uh, uh, using these meanings in finding uh, nth derivative of product of certain functions by, by the help of one important theorem, that theorem is called as Leibniz theorem. That theorem, Leibniz theorem is uh, without uh, uh, proof according to the uh, syllabus uh, guidelines. So, I shall write only the statement of the theorem and then how the problems can be studied by using that uh, Leibniz theorem, but you need to understand what is the meaning of binomial theorem. So, that binomial theorem uh, concept already you have studied in uh, uh, lower level uh, class syllabus. So, the same principle here also will be adopted that binomial theorem principle will be adopted uh, to find the differential coefficient for n times. One time one kind of product uh, you will get, another time one more uh, kind of product you will get and next time maybe a trigonometric function inverse and then another uh, 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 term like a polynomial term you will get. We will study the Leibniz theorem application, how that Leibniz theorem behaves in the product of uh, polynomial term and uh, trigonometric functions. L E I Leibniz theorem to find nth derivative of the product product of you can write algebraic and other terms, algebraic and other terms <coughs> statement. This theorem helps uh, to handle certain problems, to take up the solutions of certain uh, special varieties, uh, exactly like a product rule, but applying the concept of binomial theorem. Okay. If u and v are functions of x, then nth derivative by Leibniz theorem Leibniz theorem is u v, this is d n divided by d x n is equal to, we write in another form also at the bottom n if you write it is nothing but 
just like y1, y2, y3, y4, this is also differentiation. Now, u is a uh, function of x as well as v is a function of x. Now, how we write this according to binomial theorem? u n v plus of n c 1 u n minus 1 v 1 plus of n c 2 u n minus 2 v 2 plus of n c 3 u n minus 3 v 3 plus so on plus of u into v n. This is a very important theorem and uh, for examination point of view uh, compulsorily you will be expecting the question, but for the study purpose and for application purpose we need to understand how the polynomial term is multiplied to uh, even exponential term, how the polynomial term is multiplied to the trigonometric function. That means till the polynomial term vanishes, we go on applying uh, the differentiation using this concept. So, here u n is what and v n is what? This you have to understand u and v are functions of x. This implies u is a function of x and v is a function of x. Then u n, u n minus 1 and all that. So, v 1 is equal to d v by d x, v 2 it is d square v divided by it is d x square and v n is equal to d n v divided by d x n and u 1 it is d u by d x and u 2 that is d square u divided by d x square and so on. Then u n is equal to d to the power n uh, u divided by d x to the power n. So, these things you must understand and the binomial coefficients. <coughs> what is the binomial theorem uh, you have studied? Uh, basically, even from the high school level syllabus itself you have studied. What is that binomial theorem? So, it is like this a plus b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n into b a to the power n into b that means a to the power n plus n c 1 a to the power n minus 1 into b plus <coughs> n c 2 a to the power n minus 2 into b square plus so on plus so of that is uh, a, a into a to the power 0 here also b to the power 0 then b to the power n. This is just like a plus b whole square and a plus b whole cube after the expansion of these formulas, you will get the first uh, term with highest degree whatever it is mentioned and the last term with the highest degree whatever it is mentioned. <coughs> Here binomial coefficients values you have to understand. So, what are the conditions of binomial uh, coefficients? That means, n c r is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial multiplied by r factorial. According to this, we will define all the values n c 0 is equal to 1 is equal to n c n. You can prove from this <coughs> and n c 1, n and n c 2, n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial and so on. So, these things you must understand because I will apply these things in the problem. I shall use for every term calculation these binomial coefficients. This is what you have learnt in the lower level classes, the same principle in the form of derivatives. But here when you write a to the power n, this becomes degree. When you write the same n at the bottom <coughs> of every letter, that indicates the differential coefficient. This is the differential coefficient v n. This is v n means here and u n means this one u n equal to d n u divided by d x n. Understand these things because this is a this is a very important theorem and so many problems you can study on this and the engineering uh, problems will take the application wherever you come across the product of the two terms 
one among the terms in the product is polynomial term and another term will be with exponential otherwise with trigonometric otherwise with logarithmic function. So, any one of uh, these uh, variable functions will be one among the products and remaining is polynomial term because polynomial term and other other functions we did not come across in the previous 8 formulas. Now, this is the very important theorem where uh, <coughs> you need to learn certain kind of product, but both are functions of x. So, now I will apply this concept uh, to uh, study some problems uh, on uh, use of binomial coefficients. That means, I will apply the binomial coefficients, how those binomial coefficients will behave. Now, first problem I will write. <coughs> Here the advantage you have in the set of problems here, uh, most of the problems will take uh, the uh, question like this, prove that. That means answer also will be appeared. When answer is also appeared in your uh, statement of the problem, then it is easy to verify that uh, the same value can be checked. That means uh, same value can be uh, verified left side to right side. The first example I will be taking as a simple example, if y is equal to x square into e to the power x, find that is y n, find y n using Leibniz theorem. using Leibniz theorem. Uh, I have taken a very, very elementary case, a very, very elementary problem I have taken. The second problem onwards you have to focus more, but with this problem it is only the application of this situation. Then in the solution this will be uh, y equal to x square, y equal to x square into e to the power x is equal to u into v, let me say. That means u equal to uh, u of x that is equal to x square and v is equal to v of x that is equal to e to the power x is there. First you have to set the problem like this, collect the data properly according to the notations which appear in the statement of the Leibniz theorem. Now, x square is a polynomial term and exponential is a repeating term. Either you go for integration or you go for differentiation. In both the cases this term is a repeating function. Then here what I am taking is u1, nothing but it is du by dx. u1 is du by dx, it should be 2x, u2 is only 2 and u3 is 0, then v1 is equal to e to the power x and v2 is equal to e to the power x and v3 is also e to the power x and so on. That is not going to be convergent, that term remains to be same. Now, how this uh, formula will be applied to uh, uh, release this product uh, for the Leibniz theorem application. Here I will choose this theorem application, what is u n and what is v and what is n c 1 and what is u n minus 1 like that. So, first term according to Leibniz theorem, let y n is equal to x square e to the power x, this is at the bottom n, nothing but, it is nothing but d n divided by dx n operating on x square into e to the power x is there. This is a product that means one term is u, another term is uh, that is v. Okay. So, now I will write according to this symbol that is u n. So, u n instead of writing like this also, this can also be written v into u n. Right. 
v into u n. If you interchange those values, both are same because if you start with uh, u, that will be with the uh, nth order derivative. If you start with v, that is also nth order derivative. The last term of this plus so on plus of v n into u. Therefore, I will come from that side first term that is u. Uh, we have taken here u as polynomial term. Then from that side if you come that is n minus of uh, n minus 1. Therefore, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n you can choose. Okay. So, what is the nth derivative of this? Now, u n that is equal to 0 because u 3 itself is 0 then nth derivative of this is 0. Then I will take like this x square into derivative of this one that is uh, nth derivative of this uh, e to the power x that means v n. V n is equal to e to the power x. So, that term I will write first and I will keep uh, v as uh, x square that means I am interchanging right. Instead of uh, v is equal to e to the power x, I am taking u as e to the power x, then its nth derivative is uh, e to the power x only. That means this one and this term, right. So, that I, I will go according to this theorem. If I come from last term towards the first term, then 0 I have to multiply. So, to avoid that, I can go like this plus of nc1 and v1. What is that v1? Differentiation is 2x. Then uh, un minus 1. un minus 1 means it is same e to the power x only plus nc2 plus nc2. A differentiation of this it is 2. It is taken differentiation is 2 here and then same e to the power x plus nc3 differentiation of 2 is uh, 0 that is 0 I have taken and then e to the power x. So, next term you need not to write because already it is giving a 0 starts from x square 2x 2 and then 0. This is the successive differentiation when you have taken the polynomial term for one, term, one function that is in the product and exponential term for the another term because exponential term is a repeating function any number of times if you differentiate that remains to be same. Then uh, you can write the final step as x square e to the power x and uh, <coughs> nc1 already I have given the value n it is 2 into x uh, e to the power x right and nc2 that is n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial and multiplied by 2 this one e to the power x is there this third term because 0 is multiplied. So, finally, we are left with this 2 cancellation this 2 cancellation x square e to the power x plus 2 n it is uh, x into e to the power x and plus of n into n minus 1 n into n minus 1 e to the power x only this is for y n this is the step we have to understand as a solution of that x square into e to the power x. Now, I shall take using this idea now I shall take another uh, 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 set of uh, standard problems that one among the standard problems is this one if y equal to sin inverse x if y is equal to sin inverse x whole square sin inverse x whole square prove that prove that 1 minus x square it is y n plus 2 minus it is 2 n plus 1 y n plus 1 minus n square y n equal to 0.
if you if you uh, uh, observe the given uh, statement of the problem if you observe the given uh, statement of the given problem that is sin inverse x whole square is there now sin inverse x whole square means uh, uh, what is the use of that uh, product like this is one coefficient this is another coefficient this is one coefficient i think i think this should be x x into y to the power n plus 1 that is x into y to the power uh, y n plus 1 and minus n square into y n. Okay. So, what is the use of this uh, Leibniz theorem application in this problem? Because what is nth derivative of this type of function then we need to uh, go for because it will uh, lead to the product of two terms then from those two terms one we have to choose as u and another function we have to choose as v. Okay. In the solution given y is equal every problem on the application in this standard problems list you have to go like this that is sin inverse x whole square first of all you do the differentiation as it is y1 equal to 2 times sin inverse x sin inverse x into differentiation inside 2 times of this into 1 divided by root of 1 minus x square. So, this is the term that means it is a composite function, function of a function. First as it is differentiation you are going to write and differentiation inside sin inverse x differentiation is 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x square. Now, before going to take up the second order derivative because here the highest order derivative is n plus 2. So, n plus 2 means this n is due to Leibniz theorem and 2 is due to direct differentiation from the given function one time and second time. After that you will be getting as y2 then you need to write the nth derivative formula for this then uh, 2 times differentiation plus n times together it makes us n plus 2. So that I will uh, uh, before going to the next derivative I will make like this this I will take in the cross multiplication because square root sign I want to avoid that is square root of 1 minus x square multiplied by y1 is equal to 2 times it is sin inverse x is there. <laughs> then <coughs> sin inverse x or uh, 2 times means then square root sign to be avoided means then you have to make squaring on both sides that is 1 minus x square into y1 square is equal to 2 square that is sin inverse x whole square. So, what is the uh, purpose behind it to make it whole square? Because I can replace this quantity by the given problem. Therefore, this is 4 times y is there and left side that is 1 minus x square into it is y1 square. Therefore, 1 minus x square into y1 square is equal to 4y. This is our uh, first order uh, derivative and second degree differential equation. Now, I, I need to go up to second order. Therefore, differentiating again, differentiating with respect to x on both sides, on both sides. So, 1 minus x square into 2 times of y1 into it is y2 because <coughs> this is a product 1 minus x square I will write as it is and y1 square differentiation is 2 times y1 into that is differentiation inside y1 becomes y2 and plus of y1 square is constant but the differentiation is 2x with the minus sign here. Uh, first of all, I had taken differentiation of this keeping this as constant as it is plus of this uh, differentiation of this bracket and keeping this term as constant that is u into v formula. Then minus of 2x into y1 square and that is equal to 4 times of y1. So, this is uh, end of uh, uh, taking differentiation before applying Leibniz theorem. Leibniz theorem right then <coughs> here throughout you can cancel uh, 2 
because here also 2 common, here also 2 common. And throughout you can cancel uh, with the y1, this is also y1, this is with y1 and this is with y1. Write the remaining quantity by putting all the terms to one side. All the terms to one side means 1 minus x square that is multiplied by y2 and this must be minus of x into y1 and this must be minus of 2 that is equal to 0. You make sure this equation should be correct then only you can go for finding the nth order derivative applying Leibniz theorem. Otherwise, if this is not correct then you cannot prove this result. Uh, to prove this result you make sure this is a this is called differential equation of the second order that is y2 is there. So, y2 means d square y divided by dx square. Okay. Then I shall take this quantity, this quantity as that is 1 minus x square into y2, it is nothing but d square y divided by dx square. I want to get n plus 2, I want to get n plus 2 using Leibniz theorem. Using Leibniz theorem means from this step onwards I have to apply nth order derivative. Therefore, now I will write the sentence differentiating uh, every term, every term n times with respect to x. Then how this behaves? It is 1 minus x square then y2 this is n times minus x into y1, this is n times minus 2 n times that is equal to 0. So, like this every term uh, you need to write as a product, then apply the Leibniz theorem concept, then how this each product can be discussed according to Leibniz theorem. Okay. What is that Leibniz theorem we have just defined? by Leibniz theorem Leibniz theorem we have that is u into v at the bottom n is equal to u n v plus n c 1 u n minus 1 v 1 plus n c 2 u n minus 2 v 2 plus so on and plus of u into v n you remember this formula in depth and see that how this uh, each product can be discussed by separating the differentiation of the first term for n times and second term also for n times. Okay. Uh, then solving, solving each term, I, if I call it as equation 1, this one, solving each term in 1 by Leibniz theorem. That means each term means it is nothing but each product. Okay. First product I will take that is 1 minus x square into it is y2 at the bottom n this is equal to u into it is v that is for n. Separately I am working, separately I am working this term for uh, n times by choosing the existing function as uh, u and uh, vanishing function as v. I will continue in the next class. Uh, now after this you will be able to apply Leibniz theorem for the product of uh, the types exponential, uh, uh, trigonometric, logarithmic along with polynomial terms.